Hello everyone. So today Blender 3.0 has just released and it looks really exciting, uh, especially with the inclusion of the asset browser. Um, however, when I tried to go and use this with my existing asset library, uh, nothing showed up. So uh, once I figured out how to get that problem solved, I thought I'd make a quick tutorial to show you how to do so on your end. So the first thing you'll need to do in order to access your previous asset libraries is to go under the edit tab and preferences and then you can go under asset libraries and click to add a new one new path so we'll just navigate to the nasa folder here and just click add library for the folder that contains your other folders or any other blender files in that folder that you want to use and then we'll name this NASA. And then you can click Save Preferences, or if you have Auto Save, it should take care of that automatically. And now we can open up a new window here and go to the Asset Browser. Now, the you have available all of your asset libraries under this dropdown, and so we'll select NASA. And there you go, you can see another one that I've previously done this test on. Um, so in order to add, get objects to show up in this library, we'll have to mark them as assets. So I'm going to select this object and go over here and right click and mark as asset. And there you see it pops up right away in there. So in that case, we are able to just drag it in and it shows up again. Now in this case, it does still have the materials applied because they were applied while they were added as an asset. But if we want to just add a material itself, there is a little trick to it that does it's not as easy as just going in and doing the same right click to add as asset. So what you need to do to add materials is go up here and change the outliner view to Blender File. And then you can go through all of the objects in the file without them necessarily needing to be mesh objects. So you can go under materials and now you can right click on one of these and click mark as asset and then it shows up in the asset browser. Now currently there is an issue with adding parented objects or hierarchies of objects into your asset library in which case you can do repeat the same process for objects with children but once they are marked as assets and you go into the asset browser they will all appear separately so technically you can drag these in again but they won't have their same uh, parenting relations as they were when you added them previously so one way you can get around this at least until they have another method implemented is to select all of your objects and click Control J to combine them into one. So yeah, now that I've switched this over to solid display in the viewport, um, you can see that this is all now one object. And if I have this clear, I'll clear that as asset and then mark it again. And you can see that the root is now the complete assembly. Now one way you can recover all the individual parts of your combined object is by going into edit mode and assuming that all of these objects are separated or were separated to begin with then you can just click p and then by loose parts so it will separate every all these objects out into their individual components this will of course separate objects that were supposed to be combined in the first in the first place such as when you first added them but uh, you can just combine them together again to get them back to their original states. All right, so now I'm back at the original file, so Blender file, so I can just go into the asset browser and drag this combined object in, and you'll see that it all imports correctly, even though it is all part of the same object, mesh object technically. So, but again, you can just use everything, separate everything by loose parts, and you will it will all be uh, reassembled to some extent. And just to demonstrate too, if you do just go in and mark each object from your assembly individually as assets and try to drag them, drag them in all at the same time, they currently do not keep their alignment. And uh, right now, not even all of them are imported actually. So 
There is still some bugs to be worked out here, but in the meantime, you can use this workaround to actually add an assembly to your new Blender file. And so yeah, uh, this is just a little quick tutorial on how to use this new feature in Blender 3.0 or above. Uh, of course, this could change in the future, especially this parenting issue. So if anything does come up, uh, let me know in the comments, or I will try to keep this updated if anything major ch changes with it. So yeah, uh, good luck with using new version of Blender, and I hope this was helpful for you.